So in this video, we're just going to be creating this uh, Pinterest uh, layout using HTML and CSS. There's no JavaScript involved. Let me add a few more of these. So we have the three sizes. We have the small, the medium, and the large pin. Let me add some more pins to the screen. And CSS Grid handles the responsiveness for us. That's why we don't need any of the any of the uh, JavaScript. So as we resize, we shrink the browser window. It just reconfigures to do this. We have all of them in a column like that. You can go back out and it just resizes per row. And so if this interests you at all, leave a like, it helps the channel grow. Subscribe if you haven't already subscribed and let's begin. All right, so let's start by, let's spin up the server first. So right click, we'll do an open with live server and let's go half, half. So we'll do the HTML and then the CSS. So left half, that's right half, there we go. So very simple for the HTML, it's just a div. We'll say pin underscore container. We'll save and let's get to the, actually let me see if it's hooked up. Yeah, it is, all right. Let's get to the CSS. So let's start with some CSS variables. So we'll do a root like that. We'll have a card width, that'll be 250 pixels. Let's say card border radius, that'll be 16 pixels. There we go. Let's say a row increment. You'll see what this math is when I use it. So row increment, we'll say 10 pixels. And three more uh, three more variables. Let's do a card small. It's gonna be 26. And we need a medium, which is gonna be 33. So medium is 33. And the large is gonna be 45. Large, 45. All right, so normalize the uh, normalize the body. So with the body, let's do a margin of zero, padding of zero, and let's just do a background color of gray. There we go. All right, pin container. Dot pin underscore container. We're going to start with a margin of zero, a padding of zero as well. Let's do a width of 80 viewport width. Let's do a background color of black and let's center it on the X axis. So position absolute, absolute. We'll do a left of 50%. We'll do a transform, translate on the X, negative 50%. And let's get to the actual grid. So it's just gonna be a display of grid, obviously. So display grid. We'll do, what is it, grid template columns. So repeat, autofill, and we have the variable card width. So that's 250 pixels. Let me open my paint for a second. So all autofill does is, let's say you've, you're give the, uh, the CSS your container. Autofill says, and repeat says, fill as many 250 pixels in terms of their width, uh, icons or containers or whatever you put in there in one row when you can't go or fit another 250 in there because it would overlap the boundaries of your container just start at the next row and when you start at the next row what's the 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 height of this container going to be well it's going to be this let's be grid auto rows variable row increment which is 10 pixels so each new row is going to take up 10 pixels. And when we do the math here, small, medium, actually, let me uh, write it first, or you're going to get confused. So that's what we're basically saying. So on the columns, repeat 250, 250, 250, 250. You can't fit the next one. Just start at the next row, and the row um, height is just 10 pixels. So we have display, grid, and we'll just do a justify justify content of center just to keep everything because we'd start here the card would start here we just want to keep everything centered within the entire container all right so let's style a card so card let's say what are we going to do margin padding margin with a padding of zero let's stay a margin of and let's do 15 for top and bottom and 10 pixels for the left and the right and let's get a background color of red. And we need that border radius. So border radius. And the variable, that, that. 
and then the uh, what was it? Card border radius. All right. So let's code up the three sizes. So card small. We're just gonna have a grid row and span var dash dash the card small. And so what this is saying is when we attach this class to a card, something like this, div card, and we'll say dot card underscore small. So it's gonna be a border radius of that 16, background color of red, and the uh, this guy brings in the grid row end span, and this value is 26. All that means is span 26 rows. And since each row is 10 pixels, like this, let me just do, how about this, control N. And so what each card, this is not the container, this is a card. So pretend this is a one of the red cards. Each card is actually made up of multiple rows, and each row is 10 pixels. So that would be one row, two rows. And for a small card, it's made up of 26 of these rows. So we have 26 of these rows times 10 pixels each equals each card is going to have a width of 250. That's 250. And a height of, for the small guy, 260 pixels. And so when I go into the, um, when you get this online or on the screen, and I go into the inspection tools, you'll see that the grid, grid lines show like this, where you have multiple rows making up a, uh, a card. So for a small card, it's made up of 26 rows, which is 260 pixels. A medium card is 33 rows, which is equal to 330 pixels. And the large card is 45, which is 450 pixels. So let's code that up here. Yeah, right here. Let's copy this. Paste, paste, format. This guy should be a medium, medium, and card, medium, like that. And this guy should be card, large, card, underscore, large. All right, let's add some cards to the, uh, the screen. So we have a small, let's go medium, large, like that. And you go medium, and you go large. LARG, save, let's go to our container. There we go. So that's small, medium, large, let's inspect. And pay attention to this uh, this screen right here, the, the actual uh, container. So I go to elements, I go over the pin container, and you should be able to see this on your, uh, on your screen. You can see that there's multiple rows per card. That's what we're talking about with the uh, with this guy right here. Each new row is equal to 10 pixels. So we go here, and we can see for this small card, it's made up of multiple rows. If you're going to the CS, or excuse me, the HTML tree, the, uh, the card's small here. Notice the dimensions right here. 230 by 230, but I thought we had a 260 in terms of its, uh, its width. Well, when you add the margins, that 15, we have 15 pixels on the top, we have 15 pixels on the bottom. We have 10 on the left, 10 on the right. So we have the, let's say we have the 250 on the width by 260 without the margins. 15 plus 15 is 30. 260 minus 30 is 230. 10 plus 10 is 20. 250 minus 20 is 230. So that's where we get the finalized uh, dimensions of the uh, the small guy which is to say 230 by 230. Same thing for the other cards. So we go back here, we take a look at the, let's just do a large one, it's supposed to be 450. So it's supposed to be 250 by 450. So we click on this, and we see we have 230, so the margins of 10, 10, and the 450, the top is 15 off, 15 off, 30 off. 450 minus 30 is your 420. So let me add some more cards to this. And that's basically it for this layout. It's pretty simple. Let's do this, this, and this. Save me close this. Let me close paint as well. There we go. And so the responsiveness is handled by uh, CSS Grid. We don't need to do any sort of programming with JavaScript. We can just do something like this over here. And it just reconfigures based on the autofill repeat. So as much as the width can handle 250, 250, 250, including the margins, it'll fill up the row and then go to the uh, the next row here. 
So we can do that, something like that. Scroll all the way down, all of our cards are there. And go all the way back. And we have the, uh, the full grid. And so that's going to be it for the video. Leave a like, it helps the channel grow. Subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. And I will see you guys in the next one. The next one's probably going to be using this to actually build a, uh, a Pinterest clone, JavaScript based. And then I think I'll do a, a React to JS based one. But anyways, the next one's going to be a Pinterest clone.